Hello everybody and welcome back to Banish. Uh, for those of you who are new, I'm Katmandu. And in this episode, hopefully we're going to do a lot more expansion on the our little village of Katmandu. So yeah, if you guys are enjoying this, ep uh, this series so far, then don't forget to leave a like. And uh, yeah, if you are liking it, don't forget to subscribe as well if you haven't already. Yeah, both the likes and subscribes do help me out massively. So yeah, if you could show your support, then that would be muchly, muchly appreciated. Um, yeah, in this episode, I think we're going to continue on with our expansion of our little village. Um, obviously we've got 31 people at the minute which is pretty decent I'm happy with that at the moment uh, we are building something at the minute I'm not sure what it oh yeah it's the storage the other storage barn here because our capacity is at 88 oh, I've gone down a little bit but yeah it's, it was nearing fall in the last episode if you've seen it um, so yeah apart from that everything else is looking really really good so I don't really know what to do at the moment but what I may do is I may build a bridge over to this side and we may look into farming because the population might start booming and obviously if we get some nomads in then we're going to need some extra food and we're also going to need some extra housing as well so it would be good to build a little bridge over here for not just the farming but all, for all these resources over here which are a lot so yeah so we can, we can start by building a little bridge best place. I want to try and get it as close as possible to our little village area. So that'll do. So yeah, so go and build it. Build it now! So yeah, so hopefully once this that storage barn's done then we can do maybe what can we do? I don't know. Don't know. Stop. That's it. End of episode. Now what we'll do is we'll try maybe clearing a little bit more of this forest area out uh, because obviously I do want this area eventually for all our stuff. Remove anything in the selected area. Let's do, just, we'll just do little bits at a time. So we'll do all that little bit. So that's nice. Just do tiny, tiny little bits at a time. Because uh, obviously wood's looking a little bit low. Maybe we might need to look into maybe getting another uh, forester. Right, let's try speeding up time a little bit. Let's go five. Yeah, so we may need another forester, possibly, maybe. We definitely need to gather... Well, I'll say we definitely need to gather some more stone. But maybe we might be okay for now. I don't know what the bridge takes. Way to click on the bridge. I click on the bridge, right? Oh, it only takes 14. It takes, it takes 56 logs, though, so. Right, let's take the building down to two. Let's have six labourers gathering all that material up there. Get some more logs in. And uh, let's have a look. We still don't need another herbalist. Herb herbs are not really being used at the moment. They're still on 106. They haven't really gone anywhere. What are we like for leather? Oh, there's none in there. Is it being transported here now? Yeah, so we've got some more stuff being transported here. Um, that's okay. Let's get this done. Yes, it's, it's being built. Um, yeah, so obviously if we ain't got no leather, there's no point in having the tailor up and running at the minute. The pool's in really good condition, so we don't really need anyone working there at the moment. Firewood's on max, 500, so that's good. So yeah, so it's at the start, I think it's mainly just about managing the small workforce that you have. Like, for an example, with the herbalist, obviously, if we're on maximum of 106, it's not really moving anywhere. We don't really need anyone working there, and obviously, we can put them somewhere else. But I think because, obviously, we're getting quite a decent workforce now, so maybe it might be time to maybe expand into the farming. Obviously we've got... Ah, actually, actually, actually. We're going to need a road up there, aren't we? So if we can follow... Oh, we've got that little mound there. Oh, so we can come up on a round like that. Yeah. That's a bit... I don't, I don't know. I'd rather have it a little bit more like this. We can go there. And there. What are you bringing back? Hey, 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 what you got? 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 What are you bringing back? Where are you going? 
getting some getting something to eat. Okay. Right, let me click on it. Can I capture? Pause. Thank you. Go. I couldn't I couldn't catch her, she's too nippy. Alright, so we've got loads of resources over here that we can look at. Um, but like I said, I want to start maybe looking at some of the farming situation. Because we've got loads of just labourers just doing nothing. Being lazy. So let's try and maybe clear out an area ho over here. Let's go for just all of that. Go collect all of that for me and start clearing that area out. Go on, look at them all go. Look. Look at them all go here, look. Got their tools and stuff, look. Some have got axes, some have got pickaxes. Why are you going furthest away for? Go. Yeah. Get it. Storage, that's at 55. This one's at 73. Oh, so we're going to need another storage pile, I think. So. Can we get a little road? A little roadie? Oh, is that the thing that's in the way? We'll just do a little thing here then. I might put a little storage bar over here maybe. Yeah. We could do a little storage barn over there as well. So the food can be stored there. Uh, and then obviously, like I said, we might have our market sort of behind here a little bit. Let's have a look at the market. Let's see what sort of area it covers. Market. Oh, so yeah, see, look, you got this big... You got the yellow... So that will fit nicely in there, and that will cover a lot of area. Because obviously, a lot of the housing is going to come up here, so that is perfect. That covers a beautiful little area. Um, I don't know. I don't think we'll put it down at the moment. Trading post. So you haven't really got too much stuff to trade at the moment either so I don't even know if that's really worth it we just need to clear out some of this area here and then we can get a, uh, a farm going but what I might do as well is maybe we can look into putting down the church now as well we can have a little chapel going down here oh that fits nice how come I suppose we could put it. I suppose we could put it there. Yeah, why not? Let's put the chapel there. Is it? It doesn't necessarily cover a, a specific area, then. So we'll build the chapel. Oh, we've got some buildings to do, and no one's on it. Get to building. Right, clothes are looking good. Tools are looking good. Firewood's looking good, and we're just coming out of winter as well. Excellent. We've got loads of wood now from this uh, cutting down of this area here. Try and get all these materials out so we can start our farming over there. Got a little storage barn here, which is going to be storing a lot more food. Food's looking really, really good. I think we could we could possibly um, support a bigger bigger uh, well a bigger town basically so if we get any nomads coming then we can definitely we can definitely have some of them yeah I want to get some peppers and some pumpkins on the go because I know that can help health out as well is have a little bit more of a diversity of your food so what are we like for oh man there's loads of fish Woo! fishing crazy Herbs are still sitting pretty where they are. Oh, we've got some more leather, so I guess we could get another guy back on textiles. Let's keep them clothes topped up. While well, we've got the leather, we might as well. Uh, tools are okay. Maybe we'll we'll put another guy in the blacksmith for now. Let's get them tools up. We might as well use the people while we've got them. Uh, yeah, we've got someone building the church. That's nice. What's this? log limit. Oh mate, we want that a lot higher than that. We want that at 500. We want that at 500 with the uh, 
with the firewood. You can have that at 500, that at 500, and that's nice. Not on that too, though. Yeah, still, still no one eating no herbs. Fine. Come on, guys. Oh, we've only got two people on the labour in now, I guess. That's okay, that'll be done in time. Building the church here. Uh, yeah, we've got plenty of... Yeah, you've hit your limit. That's great. Stay, stay classy. And, uh... Yeah, I think we're, we're doing really, really well. I'm really, I'm really pleased with how things are going at the minute. Uh, I may... I may soon put down a school as well. I think maybe once we get... Uh, maybe once we get the 30 adults, we could maybe put down a school. Did someone die? Did someone just die? What? Hang on a minute. Where's... Where's that one, isn't it? Have I had anyone die? No, no one's died. Oh, it's death. Oh, I don't know. I thought... It looked... So we lost an adult. I'm sure we did. Well, maybe not. Oh no, I oh know, unless the child become an adult, that's why it looked like it changed to me anyway, but I'm stuck there. Uh, so yeah, so we've got three labourers now, which is good. Gather some more of these materials over here. Need a lot of this cleared out so we can build our farm. Need a farm going. I know food's really good, obviously. <laughs> Look, we're, we're, we're making loads more food than what we need. But I want to have a nice stored amount of food. Because once we start getting loads of people in, that's going to go down pretty quick. So I'm ha quite happy to store as much food as possible. Right. Yeah, so we're out of leather, so the tailor's now gone. Uh, we're at our limit of tools, so now the blacksmith can now go. Herbs are still not being used, that's nice. Is anyone bringing any stuff over here? Everything's ready to go. Oh, it's just stone. Oh, we're out of stone. Okay, we're out of stone. People should be gathering the stone here, though. Yeah, stone's gonna be... Uh, well, I say stone's gonna become a problem, but it's not really. There is absolutely tons of stone over here. So stone will not be a problem. It's... I guess it's... See, we've even got some down here. We've got, we've got loads of resources. It's a very resourceful area. I'm really happy with this. All the stone and everything. I like the, the little area that we've cleared out, but we've not taken too much away from the old forest area, which is nice. But we can just cut it back periodically. Firewood's nice. See, the problem with stone is obviously because you keep running out of stone, it's hard to really upgrade these to stone houses because you need, still need wood and you need 40 stone and 10 iron as well. So, But it will help our reserves of logs and firewood, I guess, because obviously we'll, we'll be making less firewood, hence we'll be using less logs. But stone is the one that we keep having problems with. So hopefully the trade, let's have a look, let's just see if the trading post will fit up there. Uh, let's rotate. Oh yeah, the trading, po the trading post will fit up there nicely. So we're going to have the guy, I don't know where the guy is going to come down from. Maybe from over here. Oh yeah, maybe he'll come in from here, he'll come through the big one. And he'll come down here to the trading post and then he can carry on down and then he'll come all the way down here and then he'll exit the map there I guess because I'm I'm guessing and like I said I don't know but I'm guessing it would follow like the flow of water which is obviously coming down that way obviously that uh, to me that just sort of makes sense I guess oh we got our church up so let's get a cleric in there we so have 34 members nice keep everyone happy uh, we may need to build a little cemetery soon as well, because just in case people start to die, uh, like die, they need somewhere to be buried. 
So maybe we can build a cemetery like next to the church. I don't know how big you can make this thing. Well, we can't go any higher there. Let's do a 12 by 12. We can't go 13, so let's go 12 by 12. Do a little cemetery there. I don't know how many people that will hold like, but that should be a decent size for now. I'm starting to clear that out a little bit more, so can we start crop field? Just start trying to lay down a little summit summit. Might need to come in a little bit. Actually, let's do the road. Do a little bit more of a road coming right out. How far can we go? I'll just go to the clearing for now. And then we can do... See, I've got that little mountain in there. Well, not a mountain, like a little hill. That's going to be a bit of a pain. Hmm. The little eight by eight. See, that's going to be a problem there, now, isn't it? Because we're only going to... Unless... I've just had an idea. Unless we have pastures up there. And then we have our farm field sort of down here. I don't know how big you can have them. Is it 15 by 15? It seems like 15 by 15 is the biggest. I don't know what... You guys down below, if you've got any um, like tips and that of the size of the, the crops, you know, like the size of the uh, crop fields is best, is most like sort of efficient, then yeah, leave it in the comments down below, man, because that would be really interesting to try and figure that out, what's going to be the most efficient crop size. Right, let's get someone back in the tailors, because we've got some more leather. Um, let's, let's get someone back in here, because we've got we've got the manpower, so we might as well. What is, what's low? Reserve stone is low, okay. Well, while we've got labour, we can... Maybe get a lot more stone from down here, maybe. Let's get all that. Maybe over here a little bit. Let's pick all that up. Be beautiful. Okay, we can put some pastures up there, I guess, because I know they don't really take as much room, I don't think. We can build a decent bit of pasture area up there, maybe. That's a bit of a pain, the fact that we've got that little hole. It could be good if they had some terraforming in the game, that'd be nice. Right, so our cemetery's done. Oh, nearly done. I can hold 40 graves, right, okay. That's alright, I guess, that's cool. Logs are good, firewood's good. Yeah, see, stone's low, we'll go and gather some more stone down there. We've got six, seven labourers now, so we should be able to go and gather quite a bit of that. We've got, we've got a decent amount of iron, that's good. Um, yeah, we've got no nomads looking to come at the minute. Let's see what if we got. Are our houses quite full? Yeah, so we could maybe expand again with a couple more houses, maybe two. So if we're going to expand the port, put some more houses see I've got a little mountain ridge area there as well you can always maybe start putting some maybe behind here obviously since this is the way we're expanding try and squeeze one in right next to the well here yeah I have got a road there right next to that so put that there and then maybe we could rotate and put this one There. So I've got a little indentation there. Why can I not? Oh, hang on a minute. There's a bit of a road sticking out there. Can we get rid of that? Just remove that little bit of road. Remove that. Oh, someone died. Died during childbirth. Oh, man. Really? That's our first death. Let's have some RIPs in the chat, guys. 
Oh, our first death, man. Childbirth. That's a nasty, nasty way to go. It's not good at all. Right, let's get two builders on. Yeah, let's get some RIPs in the chat, guys. Come on. Right, can we clear this? Can someone get rid of this? Any time now would be great. Thank you. Get rid of this and we can put a house here. Did I even do it? Did I do it right? Come on. Clear it. I'll well, we'll leave that for now then. We'll let them clear it when they're ready, I guess. Our wood is looking very nice. 523 wood. Right, let's take the foresters down a couple. Bang, bang. Stuff. Okay, so let's take the blacksmith off and take the tailor off. Right, so we're starting to get a lot of people. Actually, I want to keep the foresters on because we might as well keep them in work. So we're getting a lot of people who are not, not really doing a lot. So I need to try and get these farm fields up. But I want to wait for your guys' suggestions down in the comments. Because I don't know, I don't want to overdo it, underdo it. I don't know how many farmers per size of field or what, I'm, I can't remember. So if there's any guys out there, that guys or girls out there, that sort of... If you've got any tips, if you've got any optimal size of the field compared to the people that work it, then that, yeah, it'd be greatly appreciated. I need this gone. Why is, why is this bit not gone? Remove it. Someone remove it now. Thank you. Please. Someone could just come and remove that now. I can put another house there. Thank you. Oh, you. What are you doing? Dur Dur Woodrow. Get rid of it, Dur Woodrow. Get rid of it. Can't wait, I want to build another house right there. Uh oh. Was I not. Oh, hang on a minute, hang on a sec. Was I not putting the. I was putting the marketplace there, weren't I? Ah, uh, do we lay down the marketplace now, maybe? Can you lay it down but pause it? Actually, I want that tiny little red square. Do you see it? I want that gone first. So if you can get rid of that for me. Gaz. I'd be greatly appreciated, thank you. Tools are good, clothing's good, food's great. Still no one's having herbs. Let's put a tailor back on since we've got more leather. I might even keep him in there, maybe. Right, so we've got 25 adults, 10 children. Like I said, when we get to 30 adults, I'm going to start with the school. I'll put a school down so we can start getting educated people. Obviously, educated people work better. I've got no more building to do. Right, can we clear a little bit more of this area then? Since we've got loads of... Uh, go because I want to build the field sort of down here so can we get a bit of that please thank you very much seven labourers so we might as well put them to work keep clearing stuff and hopefully when they move remove this bit of road here please just that one little bit any other way I can... I want to make it like a priority. I can't even click it. I can't do nothing with it. 
Can someone just hit it? Just hit it with a pickaxe and just get rid of it. Alright, so how how many people does the church hold? A hundred? I'm not actually sure. My right, food's really good. Just constantly people got people on food. Like I said, if we get nomads in, then we're going to need it, so I want to stock up on a lot of food. Got a limit for tools is 51. I'm just going to keep them in there. Let's, let's just keep the blacksmith in there. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'll leave the limit at 51 for now, because it doesn't seem like we need any more tools than that. And obviously, until we get more people, that may be up, but... At the moment, that's fine, we don't need it. Taylor obviously hasn't got no more leather, but that's fine. We'll just hold tight for now, we'll just leave him in there as well. Because we've still got six labourers working on gathering these materials. Right, that stockpile is at 89%. That one's at 98, so we might need to make another stockpile maybe. Maybe we'll make another stockpile. Mm. We do a six by six stockpile there. Storage, yeah, so, so storage is nearing capacity. Do a little another stockpile there, so just bring it straight here, bros. And we can have a little stockpile here for when we start building over here. There you go. Yeah, I don't know how much that holds like, but that's fine. Storing the firewood there, that's really good. That tiny bit there, but that's fine. Still only got one death at the minute. Oh, we've got 30 people. Hang on a sec, hang on a sec. Pause. Right, we've got 30 people now, so now this is the time, I think, to build a school. So... Let's get that going. Schoolhouse. Um, let's have a look. Where can we put the schoolhouse? Ah, we'll go there. I don't know if I want it a little bit more closer to in, in the town centre area though. Put it there. We can start building that. What does that take? That's oh, only 50, well, 50 logs, 16, 16. We've got plenty of logs. Get two builders on the go. The herbs are still not being touched. It's fine. We've got 30 adults. So I think that's a nice, decent time to build this school and then all them six kids will go straight to schooling and then it will start the process of educated workers which work better and then hopefully by the time they get educated we can have fields up and going get some fields out there try and get some we'll do some orchards out there as well maybe i know orchards take a while so i don't know whether maybe to set some orchards up first but again, I don't know what the optimal size is. So if any guys, girls, got any tips on the optimal size of orchards and crop fields and whatever, then yeah, please leave them in the comments down below, man. It'd be greatly appreciated. I know this guy needs a, they need a teacher once that's done. We can get that going. Yeah, get yeah, get the building. Let's get it done. As soon as that's done, right, take them off there. Put a teacher in. Right guys, so we got the school as well, beautiful. Just across the way from the church and that, nice. Keeping everything quite tight knit at the minute, which is okay. Oh, has that been, why is it not being removed? Come on, man. Remove it, remove it. Right guys, so that's gonna do it for this episode. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, again, we've made some great process here, or progress even, process, processes of progress. So yeah, so we've done well, we've got 10 labourers now, we've got 
a lot more workforce than what we need, which is beautiful. That's why I want to start expanding with farms and stuff, because we've got the workers to do it. So yeah, so if you guys enjoyed that episode, don't forget to leave a like. And if you did like it, don't forget to subscribe as well, if you haven't already. Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, both the likes and subscribes do help me out massively. So yeah, show your support to the channel. And um, yeah, if you like it, we'll carry on doing a series on Banished, because I'm really enjoying this at the minute. So yeah, so until the next time, guys, have a good one. Peace out.